What's going on YouTube? I'm back with another video and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the Motorola MT series cable modem router combo. So pull up a chair and let's get started. Okay guys, I got this modem a couple of days ago and I'm very satisfied and excited with it. Um, um, to make a long story short, uh, Xfinity, I was on a promotion with them and they... Um, they send my promotion where I get their modem for free. Uh, um, the promotion actually expired this month, so I decided I did not want to be charged fifteen dollars a month. Um, you know, I would be saving one hundred and eighty dollars a year, and um, um, it, it's it would be beneficial to me to get my own moment so i just decided to get this um, i ordered it from best buy last week i picked it up two days later because i was working and busy with, with school and stuff like that and you know i have to pick a convenient time and shout out the best buy because they hold your uh your um item like every i think they hold you order it and they hold it for five days and if you need extra time to pick it up uh you can um request additional time to pick it up but i picked it up friday and i've been i've been very satisfied with it now this is a step up from the mg series the mg series is uh 399 this is only a ten dollars more at 409 so you're going to be uh if you invest in this modem, not only will you be getting faster speeds that you got that you didn't previously previously had with Xfinity's modem, you also are going to be saving one hundred and eighty dollars a year for getting this modem. Um, I'm not Motorola is not paying me to do this video. I'm not getting paid by them. Um, this is just my um. I've had cable modems in the past. I've used cable modems in the past of other brands, and this is the the most, uh, the best one I've, I've ever used. Uh, you know, Xfinity's was good. It was all right. I mean, just the uh, signal problems. Well, not signal problems yet. Yeah, just the speed and signal problems on it and stuff like that. And and not only this thing is light and it's um. I think it's a little under like five pounds, five is five, I say anywhere from five to seven pounds, maybe a little bit more, but it's it's light and it also doesn't overheat. That's another problem with the Xfinity modem. It was overheating uh, too much and stuff like that. And, you know, and I wasn't getting the, the clo even close to the gigabit speeds that, I would, that now I'm getting on here. I'm getting closer to one gig on this one than I did on Xfinity's modem. Um, here's the box right here. It is Wi-Fi 6 capable, but it's not Wi-Fi 6E. So that's the only downside. It's not, that's probably the only con about this modem is it's not Wi-Fi 6E. It's, it has Wi-Fi 6. What comes in a box, you get a Cat5 Ethernet cable. A phone cord to hook up your phone line. Now this does have uh, Xfinity Voice. You can use Xfinity Voice with this. Um, I'm not going to use Xfinity Voice, but it's there if I wanted to use it in the future. Um, the difference between the MT, which is this one, and the MG series, uh, the MG series does not have the telephone jacks. This one has the telephone jacks built in so in the mg series is sold out everywhere every time i look on best buy it's always sold out but anyway um and it also um to, to make to get the best out of this modem you will want to download the moto c app by motorola not only that you not only that you can test speeds on there and stuff like that you can um, there's some security options on there and also now this comes with a default username and password for your Wi-Fi so you can change your Wi-Fi on there and it like it only take probably a minute or not even a minute to, to apply your settings on there so it, it is dual band so you get those 2.5 gigahertz and those 5 gigahertz uh, signals um, like I said it has Wi-Fi 6 on um, and and Another thing is what comes in the box. So I told you a Cat5 Ethernet cord, a phone, a phone jack. Uh, you get um, core, um, some zip tie things to uh, tie it. Uh, 
you know, cords around or whatever, like, whatever that is, you know, some zip tie things and you get uh, a wrench to, to tighten your coaxial cable so you won't lose signal if it's not tight enough. You get some documentation and you get the Motorola, it's Motorola modem itself, of course. And this is the best thing about Motorola. Um, they give you a two-year warranty, manufacturer's warranty. Most electronic manufacturers, they give you like one year, but Motorola gives you two so you get two years of replacement warranty just in case anything happens to this modem, which is a plus. I don't even think I don't think Netgear does that. I'm not for sure if they do that or any uh, other modem brands, but this is two year protected. So if anything happens to them, to this, excuse me, if anything happens to this modem, you can call a Motorola and they'll send you another one. Okay, guys, I'm back. So there you see on the back, there's two telephone lines for Xfinity Voice, just in case you need to use Xfinity Voice. Um, there's four LAN ports for Ethernet. Um, the fourth port down there, you see it's 2.5 gigs. So that's your 2.5 gigs of um of uh internet speed this modem you can't get up to 2.5 gigabit speeds on this modem which is a plus if you have two gigs in your area uh there's your coaxial cable right well, excuse me your coaxial port for your coaxial cable uh there's you put there's the power um slot for the power adapter and there's a reset button. Well, not a reset button, but you have to stick something in there to reset it. And also on top, you have your, um, excuse me, let me turn it around. Uh, if you guys can see that, there's your WPS button up there. Okay, um, I'm going to hook this up and I'll be back in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, you see there I have my PS5, my gaming PC, my DirecTV Genie, and my Apple TV hooked up via Ethernet LAN. Um, there's the four um, Ethernet ports, right? Excuse me, Ethernet cords going into the back there. Um, and there's the um, coaxial cable down there. And now I'm about to plug this up with the power cord, excuse me, power adapter and a power cord. So let's see here. Let's plug that up. Let's turn it around. As you can see, there's the power light right there. I'm coming on there. That's the power light. And those arrows were the arrow. There's the Wi Fi light right there. That's the Wi Fi signal light. Wi Fi indica indicator light right there. It's going to um, a couple of more lights are going to come. There's the downstream light, right? Indicator light right there, that down arrow. And there's the upstream light right there, that up arrow. Now, this is the most important light coming up on the modem right here. Uh, this globe, see this blue globe, phone, uh, this blue globe indicator uh, icon right there that, that's, that's flashing right there. That means if it turns solid blue, that means you're online. So that's the most important light on this modem. Um, if it doesn't turn solid blue, if you don't see a solid blue globe like that, that means you're not online. You have to I'll call your ISP Xfinity and tell them um, it's not online. There's the telephone indicator light right there for telephone one, but I'm not going to be using Xfinity voice like I told you, God, you guys before. Oh, and also um, to activate this, you have to call Xfinity, chat with them on the My Xfinity app. 
or you can um they have a section on the Xfinity app where you can actually activate it through there. Um I tried to use that but it did not work and they said they were having trouble. Some error messages came up and I had to chat with the Xfinity agent. Um you when you do you just give them your CM Mac number and then you just tell them what kind of model it is and you're good to go. So, guys, I'm going to do some speed tests, and I'll be back in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hi, guys. I'm back. So, I did a speed test on my MacBook Pro, and as you can see, I got 483 downloads, uh, excuse me, megabits per second download speeds. Um, this is on my MacBook Pro, so that's almost 500 megabits per second on my MacBook Pro. With the Xfinity modem, I was getting about 300 to 350 on average. On my MacBook Pro, I get anywhere from 480 to about 520, 530 on average megabits per second uh, download speed. So, um, that's a, a a huge impro improvement for from the Xfinity modem. Um, I was getting slow Wi-Fi speeds on the Xfinity modem, so I'm going to um, show you guys what I got on my um, iPhone when I did a speed test. The results on my um, iPhone. Okay, guys. So I'm getting about 503.6 megabits per second on my iPhone. So, on average, I was getting around 350 on my iPhone when I was using the Xfinity's modem. So, I'm getting a lot more speed um, on Wi-Fi via Wi-Fi on my iPhone 13 Pro Max. So, that's a, a huge improvement from what I was getting on Xfinity's modem. Okay, I'm going to show you, show you guys what I'm getting on my PC. Okay, guys, so I'm getting about 948.11 megabits per second on my PC. Um, I was getting about 730, uh, to, uh, to, yeah, about 730 to 740 on my PC when I was using Xfinity's modem, so I'm getting a lot more speed on my PC than I did with the uh, megabits per second um, speeds, which I uh, it was getting like 200 less on when I was using Xfinity's modem. So um, I'm getting almost a gig, or like 50 megabits per second less than a gig, which um, basically if you're in an area where you get gigabit speeds, um, you're going to get a gig. But I did some tests. Uh, before where I got uh, with this modem where I got like 990 uh, point 990 megabits per second gigabit speeds I mean it just depends on what area you are, you are in um I'm in the process of moving out of this apartment so hopefully like when I do move to another apartment I can get the gigabit the actual gigabit speeds but 950 948 almost 950 that's really improvement that's a great improvement for what i was getting before with xfinity's modem i don't care what anyone says on um, that that's a strong improvement because i do a lot of online gaming and stuff like that so um that that's going to do it guys um thank you for watching this video i'm going to leave some links in the description um, where you can down, where you can buy this uh, modem um, and stuff like that. If you got any questions, hit me up with a comment below, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.